guys, it's Jen at Hello Rigby, and today I'm going to be sharing all of my empties from December. So luckily they're all contained this month into one package. I didn't use up as many products as I thought, but I did use up some big ones that have been sitting in my collection for a while. So why don't we jump into things and see what I've used up and what I thought. So if you haven't watched one of my empties videos before, then you may not know, I kind of go through and do as quick at like 30 second or less reviews of products that I can that I've used completely up. So the first one is this Juice Beauty Hydra mist you may remember this from my juice beauty tutorial I ended up using this up because it's one of my favorite products I use this in the step between cleansing and uh, adding a serum to my skin at night and I also will spray it on my face first thing in the morning when I wake up I just love this it feels really nice and hydrating on my skin and I overall just really love this product I'm not gonna be repurchasing this right away because I do have some other toners in my collection that I'm trying to use up my goal in 2017 is definitely gonna be using up as many products or passing them along to people who will um, or donating them um, it, as possible just because my collection is a little crazy so anyway um, not gonna repurchase this right away but when I run out of toner products I will definitely go back to this one because I do love it I also used up the juice beauty stem cellular eye treatment this is a great eye product I really love this this and the Clinique all about eyes are my favorite eye creams that I've tried thus far so I am sad to see this one go but this was a disappointing product this is the yes a coconut hydrate and restore ultra hydrating paper mask this unfortunately burnt my skin especially around my lip area not sure why it just was not a good fit for my skin so I will not be repurchasing this nor would I recommend these I've heard that all of the one masks in this collection um, leave that burning sensation on a lot of people's skin um, so just a word of warning if you have sensitive skin probably skip these also finished up a simple micellar wipes these are great I love these um, I use these for for removing swatches for removing makeup and then before like cleansing I don't usually rely on these for cleansing alone I usually use these for stubborn hard to remove eye makeup and swatches and that sort of thing um, also used up a rose jam um, body wash from lush I bought a ton of these last year during the lush sale I may have bought a few too many and I'm trying to use through these before they expire rose jam is my favorite scent at lush it smells delicious if you love roses and sweet scents then you'll love this and I definitely recommend this product. Also used up a Crest White Strip. I'm trying to be good about using Crest White Strips again. I have a lot of them that I need to use up, but I've noticed my teeth have, have has definitely been stained a lot lately. I drink a lot of coffee and that causes my teeth to turn color, so we don't want that. So I've been back to using White Strips every other day or so. I also used up a Chloron uh, Smoothing and Relaxing Patch with Soothing Corn Flour. These are really nice and soothing on my eyes. They're especially good when you're traveling so if you're planning on doing any traveling soon I would definitely recommend picking these up because they feel really nice and you can wear them during your flight I also tried this foil packet sample of philosophy full of promise for eyes under eye firming cream I didn't think this did anything I used it two nights in a row because there was plenty of um, product in this package and I did not notice it firm anything up at all um, it didn't do anything it didn't really moisturize it didn't firm it didn't do anything in particular for my eyes so I would not recommend this product I also used up a juice beauty serum this is the soothing serum I really liked this product I think it works really well good for plumping the skin um, preventing signs of aging but also good for sensitive skin it just overall was a really great product for me and I really like juice beauty products so used up a bunch of face strips here's uh, four of them I use these nose strips weekly and then occasionally I'll also throw on a face strip. I have sebaceous filaments, which are a little bit different than blackheads. Instead of black stuff, it has like sebum in it. And um, what tends to happen for me is since I have dry skin, I have, um, they basically get blocked and are, end up being filled with sebum that can't escape. And so instead of having oil in my T-zone, I tend to get these sebaceous filaments that will kind of have little bits of oil in them. And I find that nose strips really just kind of help me remove them so that my skin is smooth so makeup goes on nice and smooth if I don't do these then they kind of just I don't know they were kind of elevated and so when I try to put makeup on sometimes the makeup looks really funny in those places anyway probably way too much information but if you do suffer from sebaceous filaments I find that using these once a week is not harmful it doesn't make them worse or at least it doesn't make mine worse they come back no matter what I do so uh, for me these just help kind of get them out of there and allow smoother makeup application I also used up a village natural therapy concentrated mineral bath soak I got this in a Walmart beauty 
beauty box. I liked this. I thought this was a good product. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase it again only because I didn't necessarily find that it helped with muscle aches. I used this in a bath right after I went for a run and I am not a runner so I was expecting to be really sore and I ended up being sore anyway. Probably is one of those things you can't really prevent but um, you know I think it was a good product. Uh, I liked that it smelled really soothing and calming in the bath but I have a lot of bath products that I'm going to be you, that I need to use up already so it's not going to be something I go out and buy right away. Also used up um, an Ulta nail polish remover pad. I think these are really handy. I hate getting out like a bunch of, I, so what I like about these is the pad itself, it's basically indestructible so when you're rubbing it on your nails it doesn't disintegrate like a cotton swab does when you're trying to like remove nail polish and it's just really easy to clean off all my nails at once with one pad instead of having to keep going back to like nail polish remover and I don't know. I just like these I think they're easier to store and I prefer using these over like nail polish remover in a bottle with a cotton swab. I also used this sample packet of Kiehl's powerful strength line reducing concentrate. I thought this was pretty good. Um, I don't know that I saw a huge amount of results right away. It does have vitamin C in it which is good for um, anti-aging and stuff like that. It didn't irritate my skin so that was good. I would probably try this again but I, I don't know that I would run out and buy a full size just based on this alone but I wouldn't be opposed to trying more of it. I also um, am tossing this Go Fresh Revitalized Body Wash. I just didn't really like this product. It, the scent was kind of just not my thing, and I, I don't know. I have plenty of other body washes that I like more, so this is just one that I wasn't really thrilled with, so I'm getting rid of it. Also used up a Rose Argan body conditioner. This is just a little pot. I really like these. These uh, The body conditioner is just my favorite to use right before I get out of the shower because it's like a body lotion that you use while you're in the shower and then gently rinse off. So really love this product and would definitely recommend recommend it and will probably repurchase pretty soon in the future. I also used up this coconut and papaya with vanilla beans body wash. This is from Newbie and Heritage. I really enjoyed this. I got this in a Whole Foods haul um, last year and I really liked this product and would definitely recommend it and would repurchase it again for sure. Oh, another Rose Argan body conditioner. Like I said, love these. We'll repurchase in the future. I also used up a cocoa vanilla body butter. This is from a local brand called Gallopot. Um, she makes this here in in Seattle. It's organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, vitamin E oil, vanilla extract, and essential oil of lavender. It smells really nice. Kind of smells like vanilla frosting a little bit, but more on the natural side. So it smells like if you drop like vanilla extract and mix it with other really vanilla nice calming scents. That's what this reminds me of, and it just smells really good. I use this as soon as I get out of the shower and apply it on my wet skin, and it just soaks in and kind of leaves this weird like oily residue but for some weird reason it doesn't seem to get on anything it's like magic I don't know this product is really awesome and I will definitely be repurchasing it but like I said earlier in the video trying to use up a bunch of stuff and I did just get a really really nice Laura Mercier set from day for Christmas which is all like bath and body products and I'm so excited to be using that as soon as I get out of the shower because it smells amazing so maybe after I finish up that I will go back to this you can find her on Etsy I'll link it down below because gotta love uh Seattle makers. I also used up this whole blends um, Garnier hydrating coconut water and vanilla milk shampoo and conditioner. I didn't really like this. I've liked some of the other ones. I think it was the Honey Treasure and there's another one that's in a brown bottle. I think it's coconut but not coconut milk or not coconut water anyway. Um, and I just didn't like this. I don't think it really agreed with my hair. It just got kind of gross and didn't feel very good. So I was not a fan of this one unfortunately. Um, I am tossing this Hydro Blur primer from Dermalogica to be perfectly honest. I this a couple times it just wasn't very memorable and then it got stuck at the back of my drawer and I look I was cleaning out my drawers recently and I realized that this had expired and so I'm just tossing it I also used up this Pacifica stellar gaze length and strength mineral mascara I really really liked this I used this in a Pacifica tutorial that I did earlier this year on my blog and I'm planning to work on another Pacifica tutorial coming soon um, on video because I just have a lot of Pacifica products and that I really do like and so I want to kind of play with them some more and try some new looks and stuff. So I'll be sharing that soon. Um, and I do like this mascara. I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a natural mascara that does give you volume and length and lift on your lashes, this is an excellent one. Um, I had this in the color Stardust, which is kind of a brown color. It's a perfect everyday mascara that I really, really did like. Also used up a Juice Beauty Nutrient Moisturizer. I've had this for a while, so not only was it time for it to go, but I was also getting to the dredges at the very bottom. So really love this. It is good, thick, hydrating moisturizer, but it's not too thick or rich. So if you have issues, 
issues with moisturizers that are too rich and overwhelm your skin, this is a good one because while it is thick and creamy, it doesn't make my skin break out or get irritated. So really like this one and would definitely recommend it if you're in the market um, for a new moisturizer. Also getting rid of this Doll 10 blush. I have started to hit pan on this and honestly it's just not my favorite product. It's also getting a bit harder to apply. So I think it's just old and, and needs to go. I think that cream blushes tend to kind of have a shorter shelf life um, just because the oils and your skin you know, reacts in the product when you're putting your finger in and you know dabbing it on your face so for me this is just changed in consistency and isn't as good as it used to be so i think that it's just time for this to go i also used up a glam glow thirsty mud hydrating treatment i really liked this this may be the first time i've ever said anything good about glam glow i've used some of the mud masks in the past and they were awful they're so drying and really harsh on my on my dry sensitive skin but the thirsty mud is amazing for dry skin feels really nice it plumps up any fine lines that you have on your face and it just leaves your face feeling so, so moisturized and just really soft and dewy. I really did like this um, and I just have so many masks that I don't need another one but in the future I will definitely be seeking out the Thirsty Mud and recommending it to those who are looking for something. It is expensive, that's the main downer about Glam Glow products, they're pretty expensive for what they are so for that reason I'm not planning on running out and buying it right away but it may be something I add in the future. I am getting rid of this mascara because it it is old and I've used it quite a bit. This is the Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eye Collection Mascara in Ultra Black. This is a really nice mascara. I liked this. It's actually very similar to the Pacifica one in terms of what it does for your lashes. Um, it's good at plumping them, thickening them, and making them just a little bit longer. So if you're looking for a, a mascara that really is good at volu like volumizing your lashes, making them look thicker, this would be a good one to check out. Um, it's definitely a good dark formula, which is really great. Um, nice and good black pigment on it. So. I really like the Cat Eye Booster series from Physicians Formula. They also have an eyeliner that's really awesome, so definitely recommend. This is a brush that I'm getting rid of, and the reason I'm getting rid of it, it's from e.l.f. It's like, I'm not sure what this is called. It's like a round crease brush or something. It's just really hard, and it hurts my eye whenever I use it. Like, you go in, and it's just... It hurts. I don't know. Pencil brush. It's like a pencil, like a pencil brush on steroids. It just isn't what I, it's just not something I like. So it's time for this L'Oreal Voluminous butterfly to go this is old it's been open for over a year which is not good so i know that it, it needs to go um, this was in black it's a really nice mascara very good at adding volume and length overall to your lashes it's a nice small um wand i really liked it i thought it was a good mascara probably not my holy grail or my absolute favorite but it was a good mascara that i definitely recommend there's a lot of different butterfly mascaras so if you're looking to lengthen or thicken or volumize your lashes or there's something you're trying to go for. I think there's pretty much a, a butterfly mascara for every single thing. You may remember if you watched my holiday get ready with me video, this e.l.f. Um, concealer was kind of a fail for me. It's just too dark. This is in the color light beige. I did not enjoy this. It is a peachy tone, which was good for dark circles, but at the same time, it really left a lot to be desired in terms of full coverage. It just didn't have much coverage in general, so it was kind of hard to use, and it was too dark. So kind of a big flop for me overall and I would not recommend this, unfortunately. Also used up these facial radiance pads. These are from First Aid Beauty. I liked these. I thought these were really good. So I would use these after I would um, apply those nose strips, those Biore nose strips, um, because what it does is it's supposed to um, go in there and kind of exfoliate the pores. And when you have your pores already kind of open from those nose strips, I figured might as well go in there and get in even deeper and pull out any excess oils or anything that's left. Um, so these are really good for gentle chemical exfoliation so I really like these and they're not too harsh on my dry sensitive skin so I would give these a thumbs up now however just a warning I don't use them too frequently I would use them once a week so I don't know how they work in terms of if you want to use them more often than that on dry sensitive skin but for me using them once a week was great I used up a sample of the Gilded Fox Eau de Parfum this is from Pinrose they make some really yummy fragrances this one isn't personally my favorite favorite. Um, the scents in this are cocoa, rum, and vetiver. I think that's how you say it. Um, unfortunately, not my favorite scent, but um, I do really like some of their 
other ones, Wild Child is my absolute favorite. It smells so delicious. It's the perfect like spring summer scent. This one is definitely more appropriate for winter, um, but it just doesn't really wear very well on my skin personally. And then I'm also getting rid of this Easy Do EX Fresh Mild Sunblock. I have used this and really did enjoy this. However, it sat in my um, collection for too long and I found it recently. I was like, oh, I opened this over two years ago. Sunscreen usually goes bad about a year after you open it. And so once it's expired, it's expired. It doesn't really serve its purpose anymore, which is why I'm getting rid of it. But this was a good product that I got from a Mimi box. It was an SP it's an SPF 50, which is really awesome. And I thought it was a good product. However, I have no idea where you can buy this or if you can even buy it here in the States. Also getting rid of this um, Sephora. I think this is like eyelash glue. I got this in a pack. Um, I got this in like a little set last year around this time. Sephora had like an eyelash tool where you would it would help you like put on eyelashes it had two sets of like half lashes and then it had this which was like a glue set I'm not sure what it was it's like half glue and half something else I don't know I only use the glue side and it's just getting thick and gloopy and I know it's gone bad so I'm getting rid of this because of that reason and then I'm also getting rid of a Stila stay all day liquid liner I have had this so long and it's been through so many different bags that all the printing on it has worn off but this was probably one of my favorite eyeliners it's really hard to say between this one and the Kat Von D which one I liked more but this I think this one may have just been slightly ahead of the tattoo line I also really liked the one from Jouer, but that one, oops, is more expensive, so I would probably repurchase either of those two. I do have a couple of other ones on my list to try. Um, there's a Physician's Formula eyeliner that's supposed to be a dupe for those, and then there's another one from another brand, oh my gosh, that a YouTuber was talking about that I was just watching the other day that she said she really liked. I think this one Wet n Wild. I need to try the Wet n Wild um, pen liner, so those two are on my list to try to see if I can get a really good dupe for really inexpensive at the drugstore. This is the Rose Gel Hydrating. It's like a, like a lotion, like a moisturizer, Rose Gel Hydrating Moisturizer. Um, it was just a little sample that my friend Julie at the Fresh Beauty Counter at Nordstrom um, provided to me, and I love this. It's so nice and soothing on the skin. The Rose Line from Fresh is one of my favorites. It's just, it smells really good because I love roses, and it also just performs really well on dry skin, and I just really love it. I can't say anything really bad about it all, except for the price point is a little expensive. But other than that, I really loved this product and I already have a bunch of Fresh Beauty stuff to be using because I bought a little um, sample set that has a bunch of smaller size, like deluxe and travel size um, of the different products. So I'm gonna be using that up and then maybe I'll purchase some more stuff um, individually once I've been able to kind of figure out exactly what are my holy grail items out of all of those. And the other item that she gave me was a cream and CN uh, soft cream. This was like an all over face moisturizer. I think this was maybe a little bit too rich for my skin. Um, I do have a sensitivity to very rich emollient products. And so for this, um, I started noticing I was getting little bumps around my eye area just because that happens with rich eye, cr rich eye creams and night creams as well. So this one wasn't quite right for my skin. However, I do really like the cream, the creme on Scene, or how you say it I don't know how to say it I'm sorry um, <laughs> the eye cream um, it works really well for me um, but both of these products are very expensive so they're probably not going to be products that I end up purchasing but anyway that's that is it for my empties this month I hope you enjoyed seeing all the products that I have used up and what my thoughts were about each one so let me know in the comments down below any new discoveries of favorites you've had this month I would love to hear about some of your favorite products or maybe Maybe some misses too that's okay I'm an equal opportunity beauty lover so I love hearing the good and the bad so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below because I'll be bringing you more videos this year I am so excited for 2017 I've already pre-filmed a bunch of videos over my um, holiday break I do work full-time other than you know blogging and vlogging so I was able to work ahead which was amazing I'm so excited to bring you some of this um, some of this fun beauty content that I've been working on. So I hope you've been enjoying my videos and I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing 2017 and I'll see you next year. Should Bye. Old acquaintance be forgotten.